Hey y'all, Sashala is here. I don't know if anyone will show up for today's stream, but I don't really care. I couldn't wait. <laughs> I did warn you all, there may be a surprise stream today. And hi, The Ranch, how you doing? Hi, Robin, oh my gosh. So nice to see you all. And Damo, oh my goodness, hello, hello. Hope everyone is well. Hope the day is treating you right and all that good stuff. Let's get um, let's get this going here, and uh, we'll put Robins in, and then we'll put Demos in. Let's see if Stream Elements is with us today. It is, yes. I hope you guys are doing good. Yes, I'm doing a surprise stream today. <laughs> uh, guys, go and subscribe to Demo and Robin. They're both excellent creators, and I love them both. Today, we are going to be playing um, Critter Cove. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be part of the new playtest or not because I got my key last time from somebody else, but I I went and clicked on it today, and yes, I have access to it, and I it is a game I absolutely love. I absolutely love. I was playing it last time. Like I said, I got a key last time from somebody else. So, actually, I got it from Riley. I won it on her stream, so I was so excited to win it because when I watched her play this game for the first time, I was super excited. And, um, oh, you're playing it for the first time, too? Nice, Demo. I just got my invite for the playtest today, too, so I might be streaming it later at the ranch. Nice. Do I have one for the ranch? Let's find out, okay? Let's just find out. Um... I might have one for you. Let's see if I do. Yes, I do. Guys, The Ranch is um, also an awesome creator. So yeah, go check her out as well. Hi, Shelly. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Hope the day is treating you good. Um, this is a game that I absolutely fell in love with. I fell in love with it so, so much. So, um, I'm excited to see what they've added. I'm excited to see what they've done over the last few months. I have, truth be told, been keeping up with all their updates because I absolutely love this game. So, uh... Loading takes a long time, but your patience will be rewarded. Now, keep in mind, I do want to say this game is in very early access. They have told us on the on their um, Discord, and um, also when I was uploading it, I got a big thing saying there are going to be bugs in it. There is going to be things I have allowed them to have access to my game. So that they can see the bugs and see the everythings. Now, I have made, I made so many characters the last time I played. Hi, Riley. It is good to see you. Welcome in. I hope that you are doing well. I do not have a mod yet today. But we will do this. Hi, Sacha. Sorry, this thought this game was kind of weird. Sorry. No worries. It's, you know, to each their own, guys. Um, but I absolutely love this game. So I have made, like, humans. I have made, um, everything. But with this, I can actually make, um, a little more of a Sacha-looking character. So, let's see if we can't get that done here. There we go. There's some ears. There's more, uh, more like ears. Um, she's an underwater person, but her ears are more like this one. So let's see if we can't get a Sashalis looking.
Let's pick that. And then we'll change her skin color, obviously. More, oh, perfect, right there. We're gonna save that color. Cause we're gonna use it all over her body. Sashellis, you can do a human and make her blue, add elf ears and do the long white hair. Oh, that's true, I could, couldn't I? Uh, let's go back. Let's make her human. I could do the elf ears. Let's make the color a little bit more. No, that's about right. There we go. We'll save that color. We'll get rid of this one. Okay. Um, and let's get a little bit of a... No, no. No, no. No. All right, we'll just make her plain. Um, <clears throat> let's get her eyes going here. We'll, we'll give her these eyes. Make her eyes. Oh, I see. It just turns everything white. Well, then let's make her eyes a little purpley. There we go. We'll make the insides white. How's that? That'll work. There we go. That's better. That's better. Thank you, Shelly. Oh, thank you. Yes. Don't forget to like the stream. Thank you very much, Holler. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um... we make her eyes a little more aquatic? We can. Let's make them this size. I kind of like that. Pupil size. No, that's good. That's good. Okay. And hair. Except your hair should be white. And let's give her some purple accents in her hair. Why the heck not? Just for fun. I want to make this white. But we'll just give her a little touch of purple here and there. What do you think? Yeah? And no facial hair. No, no facial hair. I'm looking at... I'm... No, 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 no. All right. Um, horns. I don't know that I want her to have any horns. I mean, that makes her more lizardy looking. No, no horns. Okay. Uh, body. Female, please. And where's my saved colors? Yes. Why can't I make her skin? Oh, her skin needs to be that color. Thank you. There we go. I see they've added some stuff since I played last. Yes. Yes, they have. Lots of things. So they've added some stuff. Ooh, I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Make that color white. Make this color could make this color should be the main color and then this color could be white a little purpley there we go what do you guys think I like that I like that a lot actually okay <clears throat> yeah they've got different nails 
They've got robot hands. I think we'll go for the long nails, because why not? And then, of course, they have different feet. <clears throat> but I think I'll stick with the short toenails, because they got to fit into her boots. But yeah, you can be all different kinds of creatures in here. I think that's why I made so many characters last time. Just playing with all the little options. So you can make your body really big. You can make it really skinny. You can change your height. And she was an elf, so let's make her a little bit tall. Because, you know, water elves, a little bit tall, right? And you can have a tail if you want to. There's all kinds of tails. Will my code still work is the question. Um, <clears throat> if you played it at all last time, all you have to do is click on it in your what i did is i just went to steam and i looked up critter cove because i never uninstalled it and i just clicked on it and it just downloaded that's how i found out that my new play test it would work so um so all kinds of tales with all different patterns i'm not going to give her one but you can kind of see there's all different kinds of things you can do. So it's the character creation. I could spend ages in character creation, but I'm not going to. You could give them fins on the backs, wings, a turtle shell, all kinds of things. But I'm not going to have her have anything on her back. Um, but yeah, that's all I did. So, um, we're going to accept this and just start playing because I just want to get into the game so bad. I'm so excited. I had so much fun with this game. So much fun. We're not going to call her Captain. Obviously, this is Sashalis. And she, her, please. I do have male characters I make, but not in this playthrough. We're going to be Sajalis, obviously. Help Wanted Island Manager. Are you tired of the same old humdrum? Do you want to just get away? Opportunity awaits on the beautiful paradise of Critter Cove. Critter Cove is looking for the right person to help turn it from a wow to kapow. <laughs> Join us as we turn our town into the top destination around. Are you a self-starter, handy with tools, willing to travel, able to supply your own health insurance, shark positive, a team player immune to robophobia, and willing to work on commission? If you answered yes to these questions, Critter Cove is the right place for you. Travel to the island included upon arrival. Contact Bernard for more details. Adventure in a post-apocalyptic paradise awaits. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay! I have not touched this game in ages because I haven't been able to. So, it'll be fun to discover all the new stuff with you guys. Whoa, hello. Um, yeah, that's not good. That didn't happen last time. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Yeah, what an amazing and exciting journey that was. We'd be lucky to make it here in one piece. We also didn't have the note at the beginning the last time, I do not believe. <laughs> Judging by me ship sitting at the bottom of the harbor, not a moment too soon either. Well, that woke me up for sure, right? Guessing the sea be having to wait another day to claim old anchor. Why don't you go speak to that fellow that hired us? Renard be his name? I'll be making sure the port office be in order. What happened out there? You don't remember the robot kraken? The fleet of ghost pirates? Saving us from a raging whirlpool? No, I don't remember that. <laughs> Truly, you be a master sailor like the old anchor has never seen. You must have smacked your head harder than I thought to forget all that. 
Well, probably because I didn't see it, Anchor. I'd be lucky to have you watching me dorsal fin out there if it weren't for ye. Never you mind. We be here now, so I guess none of that matters anymore. You should focus on the job at hand. Renard be waiting for ye on shore. He'll probably have probably have more for you to do. Just be watching your back around him, you hear? Renard be a sneaky one, he is. Okay, well, I guess let's go find Renard. Hey, Renard. And it is um, controller supported now for all of you who prefer controller. They said they've been working hard on that. So I don't use controller. But when I read it, I thought of a lot of my friends on here on Steam and on Discord and on different streams that do use controllers. So um, I know the, I think it was, I'm not positive, but I think it might have been controller supported at first too. Um, but I, I know that the controllers were janky, really janky at the beginning if there was controller support. But they've been working hard on it. You're using a controller demo? How is it working for you? Is it is it good or is it janky? If you could answer that question for the controller, um, the controller people. That'd be awesome. And I don't know how long we're streaming today. It's a surprise stream. Obviously, I don't usually stream on Thursdays. I don't usually stream this late. You used it last play test? Okay, Riley. But, um, then you're the one I must have watched who used it. Was it, like, real janky last time? I'm just hoping that they fix some, uh, the issues people were having with it. Because I know it ran pretty good on keyboard last time, so... Ah, I see you finally arrived. So glad to finally meet you. It's mostly good. Okay. Can't wait to get started on rebuilding Critter Cove. I used controller today on my playthrough. It works okay. A little glitchy in the water. Yeah, they were having issues in the water last time, both on keyboard and on controller. So, um, hopefully they'll get that fixed. I can put that in the Discord, too. I'm Renard, mastermind behind this little venture. I also run the local junk sh and gift shop. If you need anything, just stop by and check out my wares. You've probably already... I love their little voices. You've probably already noticed that the town is in uh, less than ideal state, really. It'll be your job to fix it up all nice, like make a real destination, and perhaps we make a little coin along the way. Hmm. But first things first. We need to get your living arrangements sorted. Can't have you sleeping on the beach now, can we? It'd be undignified. Yes, Marie. Alexa gave me a code months ago. That was on old PC before I saw it. B PC saw it before on Steam, so downloaded it. And it's working for you. Oh, I'm so glad. I absolutely love this game. I fell in love with it so, so fast. Um... I did a lot of playthroughs um, from the first one, gave him a lot of feedback. So I'm um, hope, hoping to do that again. I know they've added a bunch of stuff. Um, I have been keeping up with their uh, Discord. I'm super excited to play it today. Fortunately, Renard has you covered. Take this mostly, mostly official Critter Cove house deed and pin it to the door of any of the vacants you see. Don't matter which, it's your choice. Once that's done, all nice and legal-like, you'll need to fix it up, but that shouldn't be an issue for someone as resourceful as yourself. Oh, by the way, there's a couple other folks who arrived just before you did. Might be a good idea to stop in and say hi, since you already be out looking for a house anyways. They, I love their voice. They each took to living on the beach. One on the west, other on the east. The island isn't that big, so you should have no troubles finding them. I'll come by and talk to you again once you've gotten your house set up. There's much to be done. All right. So, the last time we had this house, this house, and this house. 
And I just want, I'm going to go look at all the houses. Those two. We've got one over here. We have the two over here. I just want to see if there's any new houses that we can get into. I turned my sensitivity down for uh, motion sickness or whatever. We can't get into that one. Can't get into that one. We still can get into this one. I kind of liked living here, to be honest. But I just wanted to see if there was any others that were available to us. I thought there was one up here, too, that we could live in. If I wasn't mistaken. I think it's that one up there, but I didn't like living up above everything, so... Whoop! Jump, jump! Alright, it looks like it's all the same. This house was nice. It's pretty here. So it looks like it's all the same houses. It doesn't look like any other houses have really opened up. So it's all the same starter homes, which is kind of, uh, it's okay. But I like it because you have all these balloons, up, all the umbrellas up above you here. And then your house is down here. So we're going to pin this to the door. Yes. Yeah, it's really pretty here. See? And we need stones and we need um, sticks, which are down on the beach. So let's go start collecting stuff. That requires an axe. But we can go meet, meet the peoples. And gather some things. What? Don't you know it's rude to butt your nose into someone else's business? Who are you anyway? I could, I'm going to say, who's asking? <laughs> it's good to see Anchor hired someone tough. I know you're the new sailor woman, Sashalis. Nothing gets by me, remember that. And Pokey, by the way, and just about the only adult on this whole island. Now, please, don't let me keep you from a busy day of picking up every random piece of trash you see. Good day, Sashalis. <laughs> Good day to you, too, Pokey. Good day to you, too. Let's grab some food. Grab some chicken. Because, <laughs> I mean, who doesn't just want chicken off of a, off a bush? I mean, that's how I get my ch drumsticks. Isn't that how you get yours? I mean, personally, I would love to live down on the beach here. We're going to go across here. Going to go gathering. We got some berries. We got more drumsticks. It's so funny you get drumsticks off of a, a stock like that. I just love it. It's so weird. It's so weird. Ooh, bathtub. So here's a question. Have I know some of you have played this game before. I learned the recipe for a furniture work table. Very nice. And that's how you learn a lot of recipes. It's just finding these little graffiti things. Oh, gosh, it feels so good to be back in Critter Cove, man. I'm telling ya.
We're just gonna pick up everything that we possibly can. There we go. We'll just make our way around the beach before we go fix our house. Pick up all the food we can. LOL, what was the question? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, we got like some more berries over here we can gather. I'm super excited. Oh, uh, the question was, has anybody played this game before? I know some of you have, but... Gathering up some metal. I'm super excited too, but I saw you were streaming it, so I'm trying to hold my excitement till after your stream. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, hello, you're new. <laughs> I'm Sammy, I'm pretty new here too. My name's Sashellis. You have no idea how nice it is to meet you. I was starting to think that I'd gotten tricked into moving here. <laughs> the brochure said a tropical paradise awaits. It didn't say anything about letting in a, living in a ratty tent on the beach. I don't stream often, but when I do, it's something I'm really passionate about. Yeah, I know that ranch. But you do make some awesome videos. I absolutely love your videos. They're so informative. <laughs> That'd be. <laughs> I thought I'd be stuck on this beach forever, but you look like someone who's got it all figured out. Maybe we'll finally start seeing some progress, you know? I'm really glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you too, Sammy. Aries. Hmm. Pick up a steering wheel. Let me pick that up. Anything I can pick up, I'm picking up. Now we got to go talk to Renard again, right? No, I have to go and um, fix my house. So let's go fix my house. I think I can get to it from this way. Yep, I can. It's right up over here, isn't it? No. Oh, I see umbrellas. I see umbrellas. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I love this house. Donate. All those. And all the sticks. Completed. Yay. Beep, 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 beep. I want to see the house too. I hope they got things sorted in there since I was last in there. So here's my little house under the umbrellas with the little fairy lights. There's my little cot. I've got two of these so we can put in stuff. Those we can sell, I think. 
I'm gonna save the metal, the furnace, the wheel, the glass, the metal, the old bottle, maybe? Wooden stone. Well, let's keep the wood and the stone just in case I need it. And maybe the metal. No, I don't need the trash. But me, I don't know what I'm gonna need this time actually. So let's just let's just stick it all in there. And then can I pick this up? Yes. Hold to, hold E to pick up. There we go. We'll move that one. We'll take it with us. Hey Sammy, what do you got to say? Super. Super glad I ran into you. I was thinking maybe you could help me out with the little lighting problem the town has. Gets really dark. You keep everything. Pretend you're on hoarders, right? It gets really dark here at night, and I'd hate for anyone to stub their toe because they can't see. So I figured, what if we get some new street lights installed? How would we do that? Hmm. My grandpappy always said that if you want to know something, how something is made, you should take it apart. He destroyed many things. I bet if you took a wrench... To the broken street lights around town you could eventually figure out how to build one you could probably do that with all sorts of things out there in the world i love sammy look at him once you've unlocked the secret to making street lights you'll be able to craft a new one out of things you find here and there then it's just a matter of picking a good spot and bing bang boom the town will have a new light oh it's gonna be it's going to be so nice to have some light when it gets dark again. That way Pokey won't be able to jump out of the shadows and scare me anymore. Oh, Sammy. I see you finally figured out our living situation. Capital. It's a very fine home, but they never come well furnished. Hmm, I got it. You need a housewarming gift. Free of charge, of course. Let's call it a down payment on future services rendered. Now look. Let me see. Ah, here we go. Just the thing to your house to make you feel more homey. Capital. Yay, I got a chair. What do I do with this? You place it in your house, of course. This is your space. You can decorate it however you like. Oh, all new homes seem to come with two basic trunks. They're very handy for storing your extra things. And by some quirk of nature that I'm not qualified to explain, their contents seem to be connected together. Connected how? If you put them in one container, you'll be able to access it from any container you own. Science? Magic? Just another of life's unexplained mysteries. But it's incredibly useful. You can move one or both of these trunks to any place that's convenient. I suggest moving one to the workshop area. I should be going. My store isn't going to mind itself. But before I take my leave, here's a pamphlet that goes over the basics of decoration. Thanks! I'm sure you'll have a fine looking home in no time, Sashala, as a creative person such as yourself always does. Press I to open inventory, select the item you want to place, press that to enter decorate mode, the chair. Select location and place items. E to pick up, Q to target items on a surface. Okay, let's open it up and put our chair in there, and then we're going to head over to the workshop. Let's just put the chair over here. There we go. Now I have a chair. I have to go find Renard. What is it? What a wonderful surprise, so tell us how it's going. Let's talk. How many apples do you think you could stuff into your mouth at a time? I'm um, probably just one. Me too. It's not very impressive, but if you're in the same boat, I feel a little better about it. <laughs> okay. Is Renard at his store? Let's go find out. Man, I don't know how to get to Renard's store. It's down here. I love the jump. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Renard. Oh my God, cute. <laughs> right? Ah, Sashala, it's so good of you to stop by. We've much to do, and it never seems like there are enough hours in the day. I agree. We need to start fixing up this town, but first I need you to find our Mr. H missing handy bot, Copperbottom. He's supposed to be picking up salvage for the workshop down at the bench, but he probably got himself wet again. I always tell him to avoid the water, see, but he just can't help himself. You're going to need this oil can. <sighs> Sorry, needed a drink. Just give him a squirt or two and he'll be 100% again. Thank you. Oh, and do me a huge favor and give him a hand when you get him unstuck. He's way behind on getting the workshop fixed. Off you go. No dawdling, mind you. The sooner you fix Copper Bottom, the sooner we'll have a functional workshop. Okay, let's go. I'm assuming he's the dude down on the beach going, mm, 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 mm. Jump! <laughs> I love it. I geek out so bad over this game, guys. You're just going to have to forgive me. You have to. I can't. I, I just can't. Please, uh, uh, oh, mm, ar, ar, Renard, hurry. Use the oil can. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Woot. Happy mode activated. I don't remember him being quite so colorful, but he could have been. All joints appear to be functional again. This unit thanks the meat person for your assistance. It is customary to exchange information on meeting a new being. This unit is Autonomous Worker and Construction Unit number 2347-PJF5. But since your meat brain does not perform at optimum efficiency, you may refer to this unit as Copper Bottom. Um, I'm Sashalis. Now that information has been exchanged, this unit understands it is traditional to supply a gift to show gratitude for assistance. Since meat persons have soft fleshy hands and adequate for ripping metal apart, this unit will supply Sashalis with a blueprint for an artificial hand to supplement your design flaw. Use the blueprint to learn it, then search the area and collect the required resources. Finally, assemble resources to make a wrench. Sashalis will find many uses for the wrench. This unit is aware of how much meat persons enjoy written instructions in list form, which will now be supplied to Sashalis. Please follow the instructions to increase your skill database. <laughs> The reward phase of our interaction is complete. This unit will now return to the workshop. This unit looks forward to interacting with you once again once it returns there. Sashalis's assistance is required with other matters. Press K or the workbench on the top bar to open the crafting menu. Select the item to craft from the blueprints from a, of available blueprints. Then hit craft. Sounds pretty simple. Ooh, basic wrench. Yay. Okay, to open it up, can I craft a wrench? What did I craft? A campfire. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, basic wrench, please. Oh, I need metal. Okay, well, let's go put down the, uh, let's go up to the workshop and put our, uh, oh my gosh, words, uh, box down. Oh, I can't. 
Okay, so I'm going to have to pick up one of those metal things. I have one at home. Is there any more just lying around? Not that I see. I'm going to have to go get it from home. <coughs> hey, Pokey, you got anything for me to do? I was just thinking you probably wanted to talk to me and surprise, here you are, like, whatever. I need to head to bed, enjoy the playthrough, so shall us night, everyone. Oh, sleep well, Shelly Marie, and take care of you. Have some sweet dreams. Thank you so much for stopping in. I crafted a poofy cloud of dust. Yeah, I did. I was just, like, whatever. Well, you're looking especially shabby today. You may think it's cool to dress yourself in dumpster rags, but I assure you it's not. Gee, thank you. You doing stocking at my house there, Sammy? <laughs> I do have one of these. There we go. All right. Okay, to open that up. Now we can make the wrench. Let's craft that puppy. Yay! I'm so proud of me. And I'm not going to take anything apart yet because I know the workshop's going to take a lot of uh, a lot of work. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's much better. Oh my gosh, the camera is way too close. Let's get rid of all this metal-y stuff. I see you waving there, Copper Bottom. Just give me a second here. I was fixing to ask if you could, yeah, I figured it out. You can actually move it way back here if you want to, but I don't wanna. I think this is probably good. That was terrible, it was way too close. Don't ever be afraid to ask me um, if something's um, doable. Scroll wheel on the mouse to do that? Yes, scroll wheel on the mouse to do it. Thank you. Yes. Greetings again, meat person Sashalis. This unit is pleased to see you have not expired since our last interaction. Well, I'm glad I'm not expired either. This unit is experiencing difficulty. Someone stacked these wooden barricades against the workshop in a most illogical fashion. This unit is unable to effect repairs on the workshop until these barricades have been removed. Query mode activated. Perhaps Meat Person Sashalas could assist this unit in removal of these obstacles? Meat Persons have soft fleshy hands that are ill-suited for chopping hard wooden structures. If you attempt to chop wood with fleshy hands, they will probably fall off. This unit will supply Sashalis with knowledge on how to form an artificial chopping limb. Using this chopping tool to chop these barricades blocking access to the workshop. Thank you, Copper Bottom. Warning mode activated. Use the tool responsibly and do not fall under the temptation to chop your fellow citizens. This will void their warranty. <laughs> 
He's so doom and gloom. <laughs> right? But I love it. It'll, it'll avoid their warranty. <laughs> Once the chalice has completed the barricade removal, this unit will be able to examine the workshop closer in detail. So... Woo! I can now do the basic axe. Let's do it. Basic axe. Craft. See, I was going to need that metal. Yahoo! Okay. Chop that. Let's go grab this tire. Grab this tire. Chop the barricade. Chop the barricade. Woot woot. Woot woot. Yay! Return back to Copper Bottom. Okay, I'll return to them, but give me a second. One thing I had so much fun doing is decorating this whole freaking island, man. I know I'm gonna need wood. Sammy, what do you need? Holy whiskers, you're completely knackered, Sachellis. You've been working so hard for all of us that you've forgotten to take care of yourself. Maybe you should get yourself something to eat and some rest. I don't know about you, but I always feel better if I get myself some nice grilled meat. It's also so simple to make. First thing to do is plop down a campfire, then just toss on in a drumstick stock and wait for it to roast up nicely. Mmm. Just thinking about it makes my meat makes my meat water. Or mouth. Oh, why am I having such a hard time with words today? Oh. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. But if grilled meat isn't your thing, you can try putting anything you want into it. The fun thing about cooking is just trying to figure out new recipes. That was another fun thing to do. <clears throat> After eating something, you should get some sleep. You have a bed in your home for a reason, so shall us use it. Next time I see... Next time I see you, I hope you aren't looking so tired. You've got to take better care of yourself, Sashalis. And thankfully for you, I have already made a campfire. Is there a decorate mode in here? There is not. So let's just put this campfire. I can't put it up there. How do I put it down? Oh, there's the decorate mode. I don't want to craft an item. I want to put it down. I know I can do it. I just got to remember how. How do I go? Okay. No. Okay. It's craft. Q is auto run. We'll figure it out. Stop. Thank you. Thought it was inventory and then just hitting decorate mode.
Yeah. I know it was an inventory, but I can't remember. Ah, place item. There it is. That's why. I fingered it out. Give item for fuel. Start cooking. Experiment. So you actually have to highlight the item and then so when you go to set something down, you go to your inventory, you highlight the item and then it gives you this to place it. So then you just click on this. It takes me a minute, but I figured it out. We're gonna cook grilled meat. There we go. Yeah. It's been a while since I played this game, guys. It hasn't been available for quite some time. No, nope. we're gonna experiment, which is why. And then we're gonna cook jam. And then we'll have lots of food. Okay, and then if I do one, oh, maybe I do five. And then I'm supposed to use a bed. So let's go use my bed real quick. Before I set up the workshop, of course, because, you know, why would I do something like set up my workshop first? <laughs> and I believe you can sleep for like, I think you can just take a little nap. I don't think you have to sleep for the entire night. The one bad thing about this house is it is so far away from everything, but... Sleep for a short nap. Short nap, long night, and all night. And it saves your game. And now it is nighttime. But as long as you have stamina, you can be out at night. I don't think, if I remember right, there is not a, um, like, limit. Like, you don't have to be to bed at a certain time. Now keep in mind, this is just uh Hi Copper Bottom. Exclamation mode activated. A functional workshop is necessary to perform repairs on the rest of the town structures. Most of the repairs to the workshop have been completed, but additional resources are needed in order to finish construction. Request mode activated. This unit requires your assistance in procuring the missing resources. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of the necessary resources are located under the <laughs> water. Your meat skin is impervious to rust, so collecting what is needed should pose little issue for you. Unless you run out of air, then you will expire. This unit recommends you avoid that. A, co a container will be provided to deposit the supplies needed to repair the workshop. Please place what supplies you find within that container. The Sashalas have any queries? Uh, where can I find the resources? The required supplies should be easy to locate. Wood and stone can be picked up off the ground. 
the shallows will most likely have to dive wrecks located just offshore in order to find needed scrap iron. There is one such location nearby. This unit will indicate the location on the meat person's map. That's why you ask, even though you know where it is. It's still nice to have things marked on your map. This interaction is now complete. Donate. Donate this. Donate this. Okay. Really? I didn't have to go diving at all for that. Oh, he needs to build it. That's right. Hey, Pokey, what do you need? <clears throat> hey, Sashellis. You're just who I was hoping to run into. I found something unusual on the beach, and immediately I thought of you. It's a bottle, but I'm pretty sure that it's got something inside it. And there's no way I'm touching that thing. Who knows where it's been? You're always scrounging around touching everything with your dirty little hands. So I figured an old grimy bottle laying on the beach would be right up your alley. I love Pokey. He's... He's so, like... Eh. <laughs> Follow me, I'll show you right where it is. And don't lollygag. I have better things to do with my day than wait for you. Like, whatever. Sure, I'll follow ya. Can you hurry up there, Pokey? You're a little slow. Just make a loop around him. All right. I'll pick it up then. Thank you. There's a treasure. Treasure map. So if you look on the treasure map, like here's the town. Here's that little cove we went into, and it looks like it's right over here. He's a slow pokey. <laughs> he is a slow pokey. You are correct. So let's go check it out. Let's talk to him. Wow, that's a genuine treasure map. Bet if you follow it, you'll find something cool. That's how treasure maps work, you know. You just find where the X marks the spot and dig. Super simple, like so simple, even you can do it. You, you, you're going to need something to dig with, though. Don't look at me. Don't. Uh, do I look like I made of shovels or something? Go try anchor. There's probably no one on this whole island who's dug up more treasure than that old shark. I bet he's got a trunk full of shovels he can use. Well, I did my good deed for the day. Time for me to leave you to your rooting around in the dirt. Later, chumpers. Thanks. And I chop everything, even if I like it there. Because, you see that? Researching shoddy fence, three out of 20. So when you get to 20, you actually learn that recipe. Trunk full of shovels. I wonder if there's zip ties and trash bags in it too. Yeah, right? Need a shovel for that, shovel for that, but I can chop this bench. And then I need the wrench. I definitely want to learn the crates. Um, anchor won't be there till the morning, so there's not much I can do aside from 
chopping stuff up a little bit. Taking long naps and short naps. Um, ooh, found something there. You see me pick that up? I got a trash can lid. Another bench. Back shortly, needed some lunch. Oh, what are we having for lunch, Damo? Let me know when you get back what you made and how it was. In the meantime, enjoy your lunch. Yay, I learned how to make a barrel. Oh, I got cloth. Very nice, very nice. Look, more berries. I gotta put stuff where I need it to be. Hang on, I can't take this anymore. Okay, so I need food to go down here. And then I need the wrench and then the ax. And then that food to be back there. There we go. Thank you, so I know where my stuff is. pick that up because I can some stones some wood bring some to share Damo <laughs> Trying to get my lamp posts done. Oh, I don't want to chop that. Here's a light post. Uh oh, I'm exhausted. I better go to sleep for the night. Sleep until the morning, please. Game is saved. Yay. So now I sh every time I leave the house, I'm like way, way close. So that's something to note. It should, um, you'd think it would go back to where you were set before you entered the house. But it doesn't. Oh, look, it's under the umbrellas that I get close. I mean, I don't mind getting close for a second. But I think it should revert back to where you were before you entered under an archway. Like, automatically, without having to redo it. That's some something that's kind of buggy that I'll have to... Um, let them know about
<clears throat> I just love this game. Ah! Ah! There's <laughs> a planter over here. What else is over here? I wish I could live in this house. This is the house I want to live in. Oh, there's a bench. Benches, three out of eight. This house would be so cool to live in. But it's probably like the lighthouse or something, you know. But I want to live in it. Is that wrong of me? I think you can also live like in this house or in one of those houses down there, but I'm not positive. We're exploring. Exploration is fun to do. I love being up on these walkways. Yay! You find stuff up here too, so, you know, it's kind of nice. I like getting way up high and seeing if there's anything like on the roofs and stuff. And just kind of seeing the different shapes of the houses and the shops and it's kind of cool to me. I love the aesthetic of this game. I just absolutely love it. No fall damage. That's what I'm talking about. I learned how to make a small crate. All right, looking good. There we go. I wonder if he's done working on that workshop yet. I got some cloth. Did I come this way? I did, but I was exhausted and couldn't do it. There we go. Yay, I learned how to make a street lamp. Okay, let's go check on the workshop. See how it's doing. And I can eat some jelly. Hope. Hump. Hey, what do you need? Explanation mode activated. This unit is very pleased to announce it has completed repairs on the workshop. Oh, good. Please experience patience while this unit removes the scaffolding and opens the workshop for meat person use. Farewell mode activated. This unit offers thanks for the assistance in the completion of this task. You are welcome, Copper Bottom. All right. We got to clean this up. I'll talk to you first, though. Congratulations, mode activated. Now that the workshop is functioning, it will be necessary to outfit with all the crafting stations needed to process raw materials into usable materials. Fortunately, an engineer work table comes standard in all autonomous worker unit built workshops. Well, that's handy. 
and comes preloaded with several important blueprints. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with its operation. Explanation mode activated. The first task that needs to be accomplished in order to have a fully functional workshop is to craft and place a simple forge. The the simple forge is used to refine raw materials, oh, sorry, raw metals, into more usable forms. These refined metals will be important for construction of other craft stations and growth of the town. <laughs> Fortunately, the engineer workstable has all the information necessary for the construction of a simple forge. This unit believes that Meat Person Sashalis will have no trouble completing the assignment. The only difficulty this unit can detect is finding of the required furnace. Sashalis will need to complete the, bloop, complete the blueprint. It is suggested that Sashalis search shipwrecks near the coast of Critter Cove. Old wrecks often use furnaces as part of their propulsion systems. This unit surmises that you will be able to find what is needed by searching those areas for salvage. Farewell mode activated. This unit will be waiting for Sashalis to complete this task. Okay, sounds good. So first things first. I want to put my trunk down. So, I will dismantle this, and then I'll go into inventory, and I will grab my chest, and I'll decorate. We are going to put it, which way is forward? This way, or that way? It looks... Like this. I can't tell. Maybe this way is forward. I hate it when they open up backwards. Yay, I got it right. So, um, basic crafting and You know what? That can go in the house. Uh, glass, mechanical parts, uh, metal lids, cement. We'll just put all this junk in here. We're playing cloth, fibers. That can go in the house one. Food can go in the house. Oil goes in there. Okay, dokie. So let's go get our furnace while we have some uh, energy. Hope. Oh. Hump. The air is out, always a problem. What time is it? Oh, it's still 10 a.m. So I still got time to go talk to Anchor. That's a good thing. Let's dive. We'll pick that up. We'll open that up. Oh yeah, we've got to watch our air, don't we? E dismantle. Yeah, underwater's still kind of janky. And up we go. There's our furnace. Grab the anchor. Let's go back to the workshop. Let's clean up the workshop a little bit, though, shall we? Um, Oh, it'll just automatically switch for me? Oh my gosh, that's so nice. I 
I didn't realize that. You guys, you don't actually have to um, worry about that. You just walk up to it, it'll dismantle it for you. It'll pick the right tool. That is a wonder. Love, loving that. Okay, so let's make our simple forge. Simple forge, I need a campfire. So we need to craft campfire. So I need wood and stone. No? Okay. <laughs> I'll get it. Um, craft it. Ooh, we're gonna do it yay look at me I'm so proud of myself I think she turned out pretty cute let's do a simple forge <laughs> I still doesn't craft from the crate no well I gotta tell you something um that sucks it does suck I believe well, no, maybe this game didn't craft from the crate later on. I thought as I got like further and further into it, it did. But, um, maybe it doesn't. I can't remember now. But since all the crates are shared, it didn't bother me that much. So, like, if I go here, remember I said I wanted to put that in my house? I can go to the house one. Oh, I had a furnace. Look at that. So, like, I can take this furnace and this trash and this glass and move it out of here. And I can, like, put the other ship wheel in here. I can put this dragon fruit and this stuff right in here. And I'm gonna tell you what, this may seem like a little thing. I'm gonna put the rusty anchor in here because I don't know that I need it right now. I can put that in there. I can put these in down here. Um, I'm gonna tell you the honest God truth. This made it so easy, especially, especially when I was, um, Uh, words when I was um I remember that it didn't I was hoping it would be activated by now well I I remember taking these chests and going to um going to islands with the chest in my pocket and then setting that chest down on the island and having everything shared and then I could empty my pockets into a chest empty that chest into another chest and then pick the chest back up and then I could stay on an island and explore it and didn't need to be running back and forth back and forth back and forth so I really liked that aspect of it at least I think I remember doing that and if I didn't that's something I wished I could do <laughs> Hi, Nico. Little did you know, she's paid to play this game. I am not paid to play this game. <laughs> but I love this game, and I will promote it to absolutely everybody. Absolutely everybody. And I can recommend people if they want to play this game. So... If you want to play this game and you do not have a key, I can recommend you. So let me know because this game is completely worth it. Again, Nico, it's in very, very early access. Um, can we just not do that? Thank you.
I'd play it more if I was getting paid. I'd play it more anyway. I absolutely love this game. But there are things I need to write down. Um, like, um, uh, crafting from chest. Of course, you know, Dinkum just got that, so... I'll write that down, and I'll make that suggestion to them, for sure. Oh, no worries. I No worries, Aunt Marie. This is not a problem. Uh, you don't have to ever apologize. <laughs> There's only one of you, so do not worry. And also, you don't have to apologize for missing my streams if you got something better to do. Yeah, it's pre-alpha. This game is in very early access. So, keep it in mind as I play things. They are implementing a lot of things. And this is the second time they've allowed players to, to like, beta, like, alpha test it like this. So, um, so just keep that in mind. Um, they did it once. And then they closed it off. And then it was like six months or so. And then they opened it up again just now. So I'm super excited to see what they implemented. I mean, I, I know some of the things that they implemented because I keep up on the Discord. I can't wait to see them. But there's some other things in here. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I just can't wait to see. So I'll be playing this a lot. On my streams just so you know I will be playing other games don't worry about that I want to start like my time in Porsche and do other things the other nurse has been missing a lot of work <laughs> oh no H honey it's absolutely fine it is absolutely fine yeah this is to find the bugs which they they were completely open and honest about there is going to be a lot of bugs and we are to report them not post alpha but yeah post alpha but pre but yeah or you know kind of beta but it's not even in early access yet so that's what this is um so i'm excited to be able to play it but yeah yeah i want to start playing porsche i want to start on stream i want to try to steal my thunder <laughs> yeah hi classy welcome in it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hope the day's treating you good. You too, Nico. But there's a lot of different games I want to play. So we're going to be playing a lot of them. So just kind of, you know, keep it. I haven't forgotten about Supermarket. I haven't forgotten about Coral Island. I haven't forgotten about Pal World. I want to get back into that because they're, um, I think they just released a big update as well. So I, but this, right. oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Go check out Crystal Man. She is the sweetest. The sweetest. I love watching Crystal. Um, this unit has detected that Sashalis has completed the task of placing a simple forge in the workshop area. Performance tests are needed to determine if the simple forge is functioning correctly. Please proceed to the machine to create one metal bar. It takes a short period of time to forge raw materials into refined ones, so Shasalis will need to initiate a patience protocol while waiting for it to be completed. Please let this unit know when the testing of the simple forge is complete. So what do I need? I need a metal bar, which is two of these. So, so yes, I can craft, I can craft things like metal bars and stuff right from the trunks. What I cannot do is make the original machines right from the trunks. So there are some things you can, um, you can't, I think it is, you can't craft stuff at the work table. 
from from the from the chest, but you can do things like make your metal bars, make your metal plates, that kind of thing. So, I think it's one of those dealios. We're going to eat some of this. Hope Oh, nice. You can do that before. So that, yeah. So it's just kind of, um, uh, and I like that you don't have to, um, do your tools. It just will automatically switch your tools now, which I find to be, um, Let's go talk to Anchor in the meantime. See if he's down here. Hey, Anchor. Can I talk to you? Oh, hey there, Captain Sashalas. What can old Anchor be doing for you? I found a treasure map. Improve. Sorry, I can't type tonight. It's all right. Because um, I can't talk tonight. So we're doing good. It auto sets your tools? Yes. It, it does. That's something I discovered. I think, I can't remember if it did that to begin with. Like I said, it's been six months since we were allowed to play this game. So to get my hands back on it, I'm super excited. That's really nice for accessibility for all kinds of people that might want to play this game. It is. It's one tool that does everything. No, you have different tools and you can just select them. I was doing that at the beginning of the game. I was doing that all the way up till I got to the workshop and discovered that, hey, it'll just auto switch it for you when you walk up to something. There's three, cause you have the wrench and you have the ax and then you get the shovel, which is what I'm trying to get right here. A treasure map, you might be saying, best be handing it over before old anchor goes into a feeding frenzy and tears ye to shred. Ha <laughs> ha! That's just a little shark pirate humor for ye. Anchor's last shredding days are long past. So ye found yourself a treasure map, did ye? Anchor knows a thing or two about treasure maps. Just find where the X marks the spot and dig it up, simple like. Um, I need a shovel. <laughs> okay, I think, I don't think I got the shovel. Yeah. Ah, so you found... Oh, nothing to dig with, huh? Anchor found himself in that very situation more times than teeth in me own head. Oh. Fortunately for you, Anchor just so happens to be an expert on making new shovels out of the bits and bobs you could be finding all over. Here, let me share my shovel building knowledge with ye after all. We can't have you on your hands and knees scooping out sand in a desperate attempt to get at a treasure. It'd be undignified. Now that be taken care of. Good luck to ye. Hope you find something nice and lacking any pirate curses. Thank you. Woohoo! We got a shovel! Yay! Haha, <laughs> undignified, exactly. I can just sit here. <laughs> and yes, you can. It's one big dad joke. You can sit on the furniture. Well, shall we go and see if. Let's go and see if that is taken care of. See, as you walk up to it, I'm holding the wrench, but it says chop. It just automatically switches to the axe. Oh, hey there. Okay, pop quiz time, so Shalice, I've seen lots of good places to live in, but I just can't make up my mind. Do you think this place says Pokey lives here? Does it give the whole back off vibe to you? Yeah, um... 
I don't think it's right. What did I say? I think it's great or I don't think it's right. Should we have Pokey live here or not? Welcome back. Welcome back. Is back. Ended up having a hot shower. Ooh, Damo, that sounds like fabulous. Welcome back. Not right. Okay. I don't think it's right. That settles it. If you don't like it, it must be perfect. It'll take plenty of materials to get this place fixed up, but I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Thanks for volunteering to do the gathering, by the way, and for your complete lack of taste. Gee, thanks. What do I need for this? Bricks and a wood and ten wood planks. Well, I've only got four, but we'll give it to you. There. Woot woot. Oh, street light. Dismantle. Yay. I should craft that shovel, huh? Oh, I need two metal parts. I gotta go get those. Now I can craft a shovel. Well, in these games... Are we the only competent ones, <laughs> right? Oh, I don't know that I'd say that. I do not know that I would say that. In fact, I don't think I would say that at all. Actually, I want to keep my wood and my stone on me. Um, for the mere fact... That Mr. Copper bottom there. I mean, you gather all the materials, but Miss, I needed the metal to complete his house. Um, Mr. Copper bottom there. You gather the materials, and he actually puts the stuff together. Did I have more wood planks in there? I gotta check. Yes, I have 34 wood planks. Let's go get his house. Is this one on the Xbox? No. Hi, Melissa. Welcome in. Welcome in. It's good to see you. Hope your day is going well. Hope the day's treating you right and you're doing good. Um, This is not on the Xbox because this is pretty much <coughs> in playtesting mode still. But it does have um, controller accessibility. So, like, you could play it on the computer with a controller. But, like, they had uh, a short testing period about six months ago, and then they went back and fixed a bunch of stuff, added a bunch of stuff, and now they re released it again for a play tester mode. And we'll get it for a short time again, and they want our feedback on, they already said there's going to be bugs, there's going to be issues, let them know. Again, the playthroughs we play here are not going to be available upon release or upon the next playtest. So, um, so, uh, just keep that in mind as I'm playing it. If it looks like really buggy or looks like there's a lot of issues or a lot of missing features, that's because there are. This game is completely incomplete. But it does have controller accessibility if you want to play it on the computer. But it's not on any consoles or anything yet. I think they want to kind of like complete, get a good chunk of the game, you know, all completed and then work on getting it to consoles and stuff. But it is definitely not that far yet. So no news yet on whether it will be going to Xbox or PlayStation or anything like that. So just so you know. I think we get it till November this time as far as I can tell. Very nice. I'm going to play the heck out of this game also in my spare time. Just so you know. Um... Using same controller that I'm using with Dinkum PS4 wired one. Very nice. Yeah. And I know people have used the Xbox controllers on this game too. 
tell. Let's talk. Social mode activated. I recently discovered one of my interior pipes was leaking oil. But I managed to fix the problem and clean up the mess without requiring the assistance of a meat person such as yourself. Though I will keep you informed if any other malfunctions occur. Thank you. We're going to pick up the metal bar. There we go. They announced it for PS5 so far. Okay, cool. See, I play on computers, so I don't really pay attention to that stuff really much. I don't have a PS5. I have a PS4, so... And an Xbox One. Can you marry Copper Bottom, though? Million dollar question. Right? I love Copper Bottom. So, yeah, when you gather stuff, Copper Bottom actually goes and... Um, fixes up the stuff. That's kind of why I didn't put the stuff in Pokey's house yet. Because then Copper Bottom would not be available for my quests in, in here. And I kind of want to start getting this set up. It appears the Simple Forge is operating with ex within acceptable parameters. We must now work on the next crafting machine. I'm not sure if you can marry anybody in this. To be honest with you. Here we go from the official statement. It will launch in early access for the PC via Steam in 2023. Oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> Followed by a full launch across PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC later date. Okay. <coughs> but that's not a true statement. That must be old because we're in 2024 and it is not released yet. But they are a very small company. I'm not sure if it's like one or just a couple people. I'd have to go look again. I've been following them. But, um... The Gentlemanly Rat. Off big time, yeah. Um, the Gentlemanly Rat is the one who we always talk to on Discord, so... Unfortunately, the blueprint for the fabricator is missing from the engineer's work table data set. Therefore, it will be up to Sashalis to discover the missing information. Explanation mode activated. This unit was attempting to record a diagram in an underwater cave when Sashalis found it rusted on the shore a short while back. Unfortunately, this unit did not factor that water is wretched and evil. Exposure to it prohibits this unit from performing basic functions. It also voids this unit's warranty. This unit believes that the diagram contains the missing instructions on how to construct a fabricator. A fabricator is a vital functioning for a vi- Labra, labra, labra. This, a fabricator is vital for a functioning workshop. Without one, it will not be possible to repair any other structures in town. Request mode activated. <clears throat> this unit understands that the meat persons come equipped with a waterproof covering called skin. Please swim under the water and into the cave entrance located towards the rear of the sunken vessel. This unit believes that your meat skin will protect Sashalas from the dangerous rusting effects of the water. However, this unit recommends that you do not run out of oxygen. If you do so, you will perish. It is advisable that you do not do that. Now I got the portal song stuck in my head. Oh, out of Bega and releasing on time. <laughs> I like, like the wrench mustache. I know, and the gear eyeglasses. I love it. <laughs> I love Copper Bottom. He's one of my favorites. Absolutely love him. Once the Shellis has recovered the missing fabricator blueprint, craft and place it within the workshop area. Goodbye, Sashellis. Okay, back to the water. But let's let's donate this stuff. Oh, I didn't grab it. Oh yeah, because I need bricks. Got it. Wee! 
How's my inventory looking? Inventory is looking good. I got food. Let's eat some so we don't run out of energy. And jump. Oh, jump. I love you jumping in this game. Woot. I have so much to clean up on this island. I have to go get a treasure chest. I've got these little things I can dig up. Can't do nothing in there, but I can dig this. Get some more stone. And I don't think it. I don't think we ever released a game on time. <laughs> I just adore games that have swimming and diving. We can't jump that high anymore. Let's be honest with ourselves, right? And here's my little character for those of you who haven't seen her. Okay, so it says E to dismantle, but if you left click the mouse, it'll do it as well. So you don't actually have to hit E, you can just left click on your mouse and it will be it'll do it too. And this auto switching of tools is fabulous. What did I get? Ah, I got a vest. Should we see what it looks like? And it's sky blue. How perfect for Sochellas. Look at her little vest. Oh. That's perfection and we're gonna learn this anytime you see these <laughs> oh no it's been a closed beta since September oh I learned the fabricator anytime you do stuff it seems like you get like this close-up view So the right mouse will, no, I want to dive. Oh, don't learn something right now. You're going to run out of energy. <clears throat> We're running out of air. Let's go get some air. Get some air. Let it fill back up. We'll get some energy too. We'll eat something. Pump, 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 pump. There we go. We can go back down. We can pick up this. Dismantle this. I mean, we might as well get this stuff over here, right? The underwater is still real janky in this. I'm just saying. I wonder if there's anything in here this time. Sometimes there's stuff behind these doors. Sometimes there is not. There is nothing in here this time, okay? Excuse me while I bend and turn. Nope, nothing back there. So let's just head back on up. Get some air. Whew. 
and then head back down dismantle this <laughs> okay up let's just grab this nice oxygen tank yes oxygen tank looks better than the coral island character to be honest oh i like my sashalis there i'm gonna pick that up i'm gonna pick that up i can dismantle this oh i'm i'm not gonna say nothing because the character creation in this is better than Coral Island. I mean, I can't help it. It is. I mean, I, I love my Coral Island, but this is something I absolutely love as well. Ooh, I need to eat something. Eat number eight. Or, you know, it is nighttime. I could just go to bed. Let's just waste some energies on the way back. See if we can't make the fabricator now. Fabricator. I need a simple motor, which I do not believe I have. Do I have a simple motor? I have a broken motor. I have a broke. I have six broken motors. So what do I need to make a simple? I've got it all. Craft. Oh, now, see, it is pulling. Well, maybe not. Maybe I have oil in here. Let's make three of them. Now, is Sasha blue in real life is the question. <laughs> Sasha, myself, is not blue in real life, okay? <laughs> My D&D &D character that Sashalis is based off of is... I might as well um, do this too. I need a campfire. And I need more pipes. Fabricator. Let's decorate with the fabricator. I'll put that back here. There we go. He's inspecting it. Look at him. Only when she holds her breath. <laughs> it's such a blue in real life. <laughs> Only when she holds her breath. <laughs> Tricking the viewers. How dare you? <coughs> yeah, I'm like that. I'm pure evil. <laughs> All right, dude. You're standing too close. I can't talk to you. Congratulations mode activated. This unit is very pleased to see that Sashalis did not rust or drown in the gathering of the fabricator knowledge. Thank you. Now that this workshop shop has a functioning fabricator, it is time to begin a construction of a simple cutter. Explanation mode activated. This should be a straightforward task with only difficulty being the location of a treadmill. Fortunately, this unit is aware of the location of one, but it is under evil water. A cluster of sunken cargo containers is located near the main Critter Cove dock. This unit believes that Sashalis will find what is needed inside one of those containers. Farewell mode activated. Once the Shalas has completed the task of placing a simple cutter, please return to this unit for more instructions. Okay, what can I make here? 
I can make metal pipes, which I need, I believe, to make this. So let's craft, let's craft three of those. And let's craft more um, metal bars, because we need to. Let's craft ten of them. There we go. And let's go to bed. I don't like how he said farewell mode. <laughs> And why? Why don't you like how he said farewell mode? You're so funny. Oh, what do you need? So, Sashellis, I heard a juicy rumor about you. You just have to hear it. The saying the reason you reek so much is that you wear filthy horse blankets instead of big girl clothes. Bam! You just got pokey slammed. How was that? My insults have been a bit flat lately. I'm trying to spice them up. It was really mean. It's pretty mundane. Haha, <laughs> that was funny. It was really mean. Yes! I bet you feel terrible right now. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Pokey. Boop, sleep till morning. I like that you get a choice that you can like if you're if you're like down during the day. Kind of makes me think he's gonna leave once you get past the tutorial. Who? Oh, Copper Bottom? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, God, why? Every single time. Every single time. I want to clean up around my house a little bit. I don't like all this junky junk by my house. I want my house to be pretty. Every time I go under the umbrellas. Pokey needs a Gen X friend. We'll teach him what sarcasm and sass really is. <laughs> right. So dismantling and destroying stuff is not only how you learn um, how you get materials for things, but it's also how you learn how to um, recipes for doing things. Like if you want to learn how to make a fence, a certain kind of fence, you need to chop up all those fences to learn the recipe. If you want to learn how to make a bench, you better be chopping up benches. It'll give you the materials you need to make them. And it will give you the, um, let's go get that treadmill. You have anything to say to me today, Anchor? I've asked me hearties, if it ain't Sashalas, come to parlay with old Anchor. Out with it. What can Anchor do for ye? Let's talk. Be sure to check the bulletin board every now and then. You can often find jobs and important notices posted there. Oh, oh I skipped that. Sorry. Sorry. Whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Let's go down and see what I can get here. <laughs> Let's go grab some air real quick. There we go. Fill up on the air. Thank you. chop that. I unlocked the basic Trump recipe. Yay.
Gonna open that. Gonna open that. Chop that. Dismantle this, please. Get the heck out of here. Go up. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Woo! Eat something. All right. <laughs> I love how I just spin. Pick that up, pick that up. Pick that up. Okay, we need air. We need air. Whew. You don't get a basic trunk understanding? Where do you store your stuff then? They gave you two trunks to start with. So you start out with two trunks in your house. And then... Um, your inventory, if you look at my inventory, this is your starting inventory. So you have a lot of space in your starting inventory. But yeah, you do not. You have to chop up trunks until you learn it. In the meantime, you got two trunks. Which is more than most games give you too, right? Right? Most games don't give you any trunks. I think the water in this game is gorgeous. Let's go get that treadmill that we need. Let's go grab some air real quick. We'll go back down, see what else we can get. Got another metal pipe. Always keep an eye on your air. We'll go back up. Go see if anything's in here. There is. And you see that red health bar? Up in the upper left. Oh, it's storming! Yes! Absolutely yes! Please and thank you. So storms wash all kinds of stuff ashore. Which is great. You see the lightning under the water? This game is so pretty. Look at the water. And the lightning on the water. Tell me that is not just. I absolutely love it. I'm sorry, I geek out. Swimming in Coral Island is smooth as smooth can be. The swimming here is clunky. But I'm only saying that because I know stuff. But I don't know how far you've gotten underwater. But I 
once you get to a certain part in Coral Island, the swimming is fabulous. Ooh, it's raining, it's raining. Let's donate these. All right, new home for Pokey completed. Woot. Now you see Mr. Copperbottom here? He'll come over here and work on Pokey's house. So, like, if you don't want to make food and stuff, go work at... Oh, I have to make the, uh... I have to make the, uh... Something. What was I supposed to be making? Oh, the cutter. I need, uh... I need a blade for that. I'm just putting stuff away here. Okay, and basic trunk at home. I'm going to edit it and put home for now. And I'll make this one workshop for now. I'll make more and, and I will... Um, there. Put that in there, put some salt in there. Let's put the cook pot in there. And the anchor, there we go. And you're done, so I can pick up the blade and I can make it. And yes, it is pulling right from the, cause I don't have any of this stuff in my inventory. So it is pulling right from the crates, guys. I live vicariously through you. Portia takes up most of my time, says <laughs> Nico, vicariously. <laughs> well, if you saw, I am a mermaid in Coral Island, so it is, um, it is very smooth. It's just like walking. There we go. You inspect that. Congratulations mode activated. The simple cutter appears to be functioning correctly. This unit believes that a good job is appropriate. The workshop is now almost fully functional. The only thing this only station that is still needed is a stone kiln to make bricks in. Please craft and place one so we can begin construction. Once the shallus is complete, please inform this unit. So what do I need to craft this? I need a campfire. Okay, so let's make a uh, K. No. K. K for crafting. <laughs> let's make a campfire. Yay! Stone kiln. I love how you build with like claws. It's so cute. Sorry, Sasha, I love you, girl, but I'm tired. Oh, no worries. You go get some rest, Nico. Thank you so much for coming on in here. I appreciate you so much. You have a wonderful, wonderful night. Sleep well, sweet dreams, all that jazz, and be remembered to take care of you. <clears throat> yeah, so 
This unit sees that Sashalos has completed their task of creating a stone kiln and finishing the task of getting this workshop fully operational. Now with a fully operational workshop, we are prepared to begin repairs on the structures in town. Unfortunately, this unit lacks the data on how these meat person structures function. How are you liking the update, Stark said? Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun. Being able to just craft by pulling out of the chest immediately is so nice. I mean, I couldn't do it on the first one, but I'm finding that I can do it now. And it's so nice. I can't wait to get a little further into the game and see what else. Because I know they implemented like tourism and a bunch of other stuff. And I just can't wait to get there. It's running really nicely, too, by the way. I've had hardly any leg. It's still kind of glitchy under the water. Um, so, uh, I will have to tell him that, but it's not as bad as it was the first time. Yeah. So, under the water, you still kind of spin... But it's not, it's not like you move a whole bunch. Like I'm finding it a lot easier under the water than I did the first time. So, um, I'm writing underwater still kind of glitchy so I can tell him. can tell the gentlemanly rat. But yeah. Yeah, they implemented the tourism on the first play test, but it was really late in the first place test, so. Speaks with Bernard. He wishes to remedy the situation with the data found on those buildings. Please return to me again. Farewell. Okay. Hey, Renard. Glad to see ya. Need to talk to you. Stop. You managed to save Copper Bottom and get the workshop operational. I knew I was right to put my faith in you, Capital. Now that it's done, I need you to speak with a representative of the local tourism board. He's going to help make Critter Cove the next hot tourist destination. I believe his name is Checkmark or something. He'll know what to do next in order to start welcoming wealthy travelers to our wonderful city. And wealthy travelers means piles of money. Just go see what he has to say and do whatever he asks. It's not imperative that you get all this sorted every day. We're not open for business. It's more lost profit. Every I have every faith you'll do a spectacular job. Oh, look at, see? Pokey is building his own house here. You see that? He's working on his house. So we're not the only ones who do work in this town. Hey, little dude. Aren't you cute? Hello there. You must be Sashalas. I am Inspector Checkmark. And I'll be your local contact to the tourism board. Um, yes. I assumed Remard must have told you, but perhaps it slipped his mind. The tourism board helps get towns in the region to accept guests. Our job is to set up shop in these backwater towns and make sure they're up to current standards before we literally add them to travel maps. The tourism shop offers a wide variety of blueprints, decorations, and other goodies that you're going to need in order to turn this town into a prime destination. From the look of things, you'll need all the help I have to offer. First things first, you're going to need to get that old lighthouse functioning. Yes! If you want cruise ships to ever arise, you're going to need to let them know you're ready for business. Fortunately for you, I planned for just such an event and have a blueprint that should help you fix it on the house. Just give that to your handy bot and it should be able to take care of the rest. Woot! No, this is way better. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm going to work on setting up my shop. Once you've managed to get that lighthouse working again, come visit me here. Good luck, Sashalis. It's nice to meet you. Blueprints for Copper Bottom. Let's dig this out because I can't take this. Yeah, I'm... Uh, Oh, I need to eat.
I really should start taking naps while I'm in town. Hey, Capra Bottom, I got something for you. Greeting mode activated. Hello, Sashalis. This unit offers you greetings as a way of maintaining social constructs. I have something for you. Explanation mode activated. This unit thanks Sashalis for supplying it with the needed blueprints for the lighthouse. With this data, this unit will begin to survey the structure to determine what materials will be needed to initiate repairs. The survey of a structure will take some time, so meat person must experience patience while this unit works. Once this unit has completed gathering the data on the structure, please speak to it again to get a full report. You got it. In the meantime... I should craft some street lamps. I need metal plates. Got it. Uh, we'll make three of them to start with. How's that? We should craft some bricks. Let's craft like ten of them. And, um... Craft some wood planks, 10 of them, or 11, what, whatever. Is there anything else I can tr craft? Uh, I thought I could craft, is it in here? Not I, K. K for crafting. Where can I craft my trunk at? Is it in the fabricator? No. I don't know. Well, I'll figure that out later. Let's go continue to clean up the town, guys. Oh, I know why I get excited. More food shows up. After a storm, everything resets. So all the food on your island comes back? So let's go grab some food. Oh, you know what we still need to do? We still need to go get that treasure. And we got to look for people who are looking. Oh, look at this is going to be his workshop. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Nobody's there looking at that house. No one's up here looking at that house. Hey, Sammy, what you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll take a nap. Oh, oh no. I'm imagining there's a monster under my bed, but when I checked, it was just a dirty shirt, a basketball, and a half-eaten sandwich. Sandwich is pretty scary, though. Yeah, I bet it was. I'll go take a short nap and make you feel better. How's that? <laughs> I'll go take a short nap. Take a short nap. There we go. <laughs> there, now he doesn't have to feel bad. How's that? But all the sticks, all the rocks, all the food come back. 
So you want to be sure to gather that after every um, after, okay. After every storm. Plus, a lot of times there'll be crates floating out in the ocean. You want to check for those, too, after a storm? I got an old surfboard. Metal bars, woot! We'll come back that way. my treasure what did I get oh I got a blueprint what did I learn what did I learned what did I learned learned how to make a cooking station yee There's stuff out there. I just know it. I can see it out there. Can y'all see that stuff out there? Oh. Hey, look. There's a bench here. Six out of eight. Oh. I gotta go find more... Four more benches. Maybe we should explore the island a little bit more, see if we can find more benches. to get my place all cleared up I'm kind of weird that way I kind of want my island to be like pretty <laughs> and clean and gather as many materials as I can get my little greedy hands on <laughs> right away and one thing I found I didn't like to do was I don't like to go diving at nighttime. That is something I found was very hard to do. It was really hard for my old, old, old person eyes to um to see under the water at night. <laughs> Check out the docks. We haven't really checked out the docks. It's probably something I should have done right away, huh? 
Oh, look at that. R fishing rod stand. Let's go chop up more of these. Oh, that one's complete. I can't chop it. Hey, what do you need? So, you managed to dig up that treasure, did you? Good for you. That, that must be one of the, oh, I don't remember the voice. That must be one of the most important skills to be, being a good sea dog like me. Think me. Me thinks he might need some sort of a memento in order to remember this day by something that'll show the world that gee is serious sea captain now. Old anchor is just the thing. Here you go. I think it should fit your head without any troubles. Now you'll look like a proper lass of the sea. Be well, Sashalos. Oh, yeah, the tricorn hat. Now I got two of them. Are they both the same? Yes, they are. There we go. I, he be just the last I was hoping to run into. Old Anchor's been doing some thinking with this old shark brain, and I realized you're not much of a sea captain if you ain't got a ship. Yes! Fortunately, you could say me Finns have built their fair share of ships in me time. I'd be more than pleased to volunteer me shipwright services to ye. But me old cartilage ain't what it used to be, and I can't be trekking all over this island looking for parts. That'd be your responsibility. In order for Anchor to build ye a fine craft that won't sink when the weather gets rough, you're gonna need three things. Well known fact. The number one cause of ship sinking be water getting in them. Really? <laughs> I never would have guessed. So the first thing you'll be need is a seaworthy hull. It also keeps your boots dry. you also be needing some sort of engine to make the ship go where you want her to. Trust old Inker, you don't leave your travels up to the sea. She be a fickle, spiteless mistress and also terrible at directions. And finally, be on the lookout for a lantern post of some sort. It's dark out there, and you might be wanting some light if you wants to do some light reading or something. Find those items, bring them back to me, and Anchor will make you a fine vessel. You've got your order, sailor. Now off with thee. Okay. So excited. Look at the little stuff. You can just tell what you're going to be able to find and get and stuff, aren't you? Now, we can't we can't be doing anchor stuff till the morning cuz I think he went to bed. Let's drop off what we got. We don't want full pockets. home drumstick stock we'll cook that in this so we have lots of uh no no that does not go at home we'll do that we'll cook up all this stuff while we're waiting wait I want that on me Okay. What did I need the plank for? Uh, the for, Let's do the... I need a campfire for that. I need a wheel for that. So let's grab the wheel. Make another blade. And let's craft campfire. You know, let's, let's craft two of them. Yay! 
and we'll get a cooking pot. Yay! Let's put the cooking station right out here. Well, I can add that. We'll add fuel to this and cook up the drumsticks. Why can't I cook this? Why can't I do grilled meat? Oh, that's how you do it. Yep. There we go. A wood frame, a stone slab, and a marble slab. I think we need more metal bars, to be honest with you. Here we go, let's get the blade. Furniture maker, craft. I think that's where you get your trunks from. That's why I kind of wanted it. I was kind of like, wait a minute. Why can't I make any more trunks? But I think it's because I didn't have a furniture maker. You know what? No, we'll put you here. There we go. Furniture maker. Basic trunks. Okay, so I need a small crate. Do I make the small crates here? Yes. We'll make three more of them. Yay! Now I can make three basic trunks. Well, what am I making? That's one, okay. Is one all I could make? No, I can make another one. Yay! So let's put some trunks, um... Back here. Decorate. Do it again. There we go. And I can rename this like metals. And I can put in things like this. Didn't I just rename you Metal? There we go. And then I'll grab all the like metal stuff out of here. and put it over into metal. Then this one, I can rename wood stuffs. Wood! And we'll put all the wood kind of stuff in here. Well, I'm going to need this in my inventory anyway. And the bathtub. Where did that go? And then 
I don't remember what else he said I needed for it. Oh, a motor. There's wood. Here's wood. Fiber. We'll put fiber in there. There we go. We'll take out that. Okay, and I needed a, a motor, right? Isn't that what I needed? For the... A more better tone? Sailing the ocean blue. Um, anchors offered me a ship. Who knows what sort of treasure they might hide. Oh, I need the gas cutter engine. Okay, so what do I need to make that? And where do I make it? <laughs> right? I have no idea. Okay. Didn't I have that somewhere? Here it is. There we go. I got it. So I can put the engine back. Oh, engine don't go in there. It goes in workshop. There we go. That goes in workshop. All right. We can also make stuff for our house here, which is cool. I had so much fun doing that, decorating this whole freaking island. You have no idea. Oh, we gotta make street lamps. That's right. Oh, I need metal plates. There we go. So that's gonna take four minutes. Let's go up here and dig some stuff up. Look at those bugs. Well, we're waiting for that, and then we'll go take a nap. Because we're going to need to. Alrighty. Just so excited. I haven't even been up there. Place is starting to come into shape a little bit. A little bit. It's a getting there. It's a getting there. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's been a minute and I have completely forgotten this part of it. Just to let you know, I love y'all. And it is getting late, guys. It is like 1030 here. Um, so I can imagine that it's late for everybody else out there. Are you guys still hanging on? Or are you getting like really sleepy? Because I understand if you are. It is not a problem if you all need to go to bed. Oh, good. The survey is done. Donation box will be provided. Lighthouse will need a new lighthouse light to be functional. Unit has knowledge of another damaged lighthouse off the coast of Hot Tropic. <laughs> I'm here. It's 830. Okay, so it's not bad for you, Holler. Um, so Chalice may be able to locate a replacement lighthouse there. Once all resources have been provided, this unit will initiate repairs. What do I need? I need a lighthouse light. The glass I have, the stone slab will be easy to make, and I have that. So let's go start on this. How many stone slabs? 
stone slabs. Do I need five? Okay. And I need to have um, Anchor make my boat today so I can go sailing. Sailing. But I want to grab the... Oh, oh, you want to live next to Pokey? You are not living next to Pokey. About time you stopped by. It didn't seem right to reveal my new house without you around. Oh, thank you. I also wanted to give you this to say thanks. I know I can be a bit prickly at times, but I still like to recognize when someone does right by me. Woot. Ooh, I got a wardrobe. Honestly, really excited not to be living on the beach anymore. I bet. Look at his little house. I am not at home right now. <laughs> I'll let you live here if this is where you want to live. Hi, Sashalis. What a relief you stopped by. I'm looking for a new place to live. I just can't make up my mind. I need a spe second opinion. What do you think about this? It's nice, but is it nice, nice? Um, I don't want you living next door to Pokey. Because I have a feeling that's going to cause all kinds of issues. So, it don't look right. Keep looking. Yeah. That's fine. It's not like there aren't plenty of other places. Yes, there are plenty of other places. Go find somewhere else to live that's not next door to Pokey. Because you two are not a good mix. I mean... I like you and all, but that ain't gonna happen for me. So I need to make a boat and what else did I need to do? Oh, get the stone slab started. Stone slab. I need at least five, so let's make let's make ten. Just uh just to be sure. What do you need, Pokey? It's about time you showed up. I've been standing here all day waiting to teach you a thing or two. What do you see when you look around here? Wait, don't answer that. I know you'll just say something dumb and make me mad. Probably. Let me tell you what I see. Plenty of space that could be put to good use. And you know what would be good use? Gardening. Surprised. That's right. Pokey likes to grow stuff and has a bit of a green thumb. Want to fight about it? No, actually, I think that's a great idea. Anyways, I figured that maybe, I don't know, I figured you might like to give it a try, too. First thing you're going to need is a watering can. Plants won't grow unless they've been watered. Easy, right? A uh, watering can? Do you expect me to do everything for you? Find a watering can, why don't you? What do you want me to do? Draw you a map or something? Fine. I'll mark a place on your map where you can find plans for a watering can. <laughs> He's just so ornery. I love him. Once you got that, come see me again. I'll tell you what to do next. What? What? Hey, yeah, you. I need some new furniture for my place. Get some for me. Okay, I can do that. Good. Don't dilly-dally. All right. Well, whatever. Oh, that's right. I need the old stuff first, which I need to go find. I don't have any of them. Okay, no worries. No worries, dude. I'll make some street lights. I can make four of them, so that's what they're getting. I will light up the town a little bit. Seriously, can't put one up there. 
I gotta put it down here. Well, then the heck with you. I'm gonna put it over here. Oh, that's right. I can wander around in decoration mode. I forgot about that. There we go. Four street lamps. Okay. Lighten up the town. I did that. Let Sammy know when the job is done. Hey, Sammy. Oh, hey, Sashalis. Wow, you look so much better. Thank you. I finished placing things. Sashalis, you did it! The new light looks amazing! It's not much, but every journey begins with just one step, right? I placed four of them, dude. We can get some more lights set up and maybe a bench or two. Oh, and some sort of game table. Ugh, I'm getting way ahead of myself. But with you around, I just can't help it. I think Critter Cove is going to turn into a great place to call home. You know what? I was holding on to this thing from back home, but I want you to have it instead. It's a bench. Thank you. Put it somewhere in town so everyone can enjoy it. We've all got to pitch in and make this place better after all. Yep, yeah, I'll put it right over here, because why not? We're going to place it, turn it around, and place it right here so people can sit there by the bulletin board and look out at the ocean. There you go. Let's look at the bulletin board, by the way. Renard is the perfect one-stop shop for all your shopping needs. Need an important salvage? Looking to lighten your packs? Renard's got you covered. Stop by day and experience discount products at quality prices just checking to see if you were paying any attention to me when I told you to check the bulletin board well done thanks anchor <laughs> Critter Cove is now almost rat free says local harbor master rats were a serious problem in the past but thanks to a passing cheese barge they almost entirely left the area Renard was unavailable for a comment nosy news we're all still gonna we're we are still going I had to head out for a bit oh no worries I gotta go have uh, have somebody make my boat so you wanna make my boat for me now do I have the stuff on my uh, I have something for you here you go sink me you found all the parts I'd be needing to fix you a ship Ah, this will be a fine vessel, I tell ya, Jadel. As fine as vessel can be made out of a tub of lawnmower engine, anyhow. <coughs> Old Anchor is gonna be getting started on putting her all together for ya. While you be waiting, you should let go let Renard know you'll be having a ship soon. He's been yapping me gills off asking about when you'd have one. I'm sure by the time you found out what that land loving rat be wanting, I'll have your ship put together. Awesome, my stone slab should be done by then, too. I don't know where Renard is, but I'm sure he'll chase me down. Let's go get my stone slabs. And we'll go get my, uh... Get my wood. Thanks. Let's see if we can find Renard as we're heading out looking for stuff. Talk to Renard. Look at how much nicer this place is starting to look. Oi. Hey, Renard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Heard that Anchor is helping you procure your very own ship. This is most opportunist. You can use your boat to explore the many islands beyond our shores, all of which hold resources needed to support our community. Most importantly are the people who can be found on them. And if we're ever to grow, we're going to need to get more people to move here. It'll be up to you to act as, as our ambassador and sell them the dream of Critter Cove. I'm sure someone of your talents will have no trouble, no trouble at all. <coughs> and as luck would have it, pardon me guys, I need a drink. I've already figured out the first place you should start looking. I have it on good authority that a sailor is stuck in the nearby island of Shallow Sands. If you were to say, sail up to this poor soul and offer assistance, I bet they'd be so grateful they would jump at the chance to move here. 
Yes, yes, that settles. You will go to Shallow Sands immediately. Good luck, Sir Chalice. No, immediately I'm going to go to the lighthouse. And I'm going to put the stuff in. Because, um, yeah. And Hot Tropics needs, you know, we got to go to Hot Tropics and get a lighthouse thing. Oh, I didn't bring the glass. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's go put stuff in my house. It needs to be put in my house. And I've been going for almost three hours for a surprise stream at night tonight. Although I would love to keep on going. Um, I'm not going to. So. Um. Then I can move my clothes to the wardrobe, see? So, I'm going home. I'm going to put this in there. And this in there. I'm going to get out the two pieces of clothing I have. Workshop. I'm going to put this away in this way. And this way in this way. And metal, wood, basic wardrobe. That and that go in there. There we go. Yay! And we will save our game here, guys. I'm just going to take a short little nap. It should save my game. Yep. And we will say goodbye in front of the wardrobe. Yay! And I will see you all next time. We'll put up the stream ended, because why not? And I just want to wish you all well. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this surprise stream. I know it was very, very short notice. We will be going back to our regular schedule after this. Good fun stream. Thank you. Um, we'll be weaving Critter Cove into there, obviously. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to fit everything in, but I'll manage it. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of your families and then take care of each other. And remember to have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much.